Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Quran Weekly. This is your brother Umar Sulaiman. Welcome to the Superstar Series. Inshallah ta'ala, today we're going to start with the greatest human being that has ever walked the face of the earth that was not a prophet, and that is Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And that is by the testimony of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. Now, you can look at Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and you can see that he was almost a copy of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He surpassed everyone in generosity. He surpassed everyone in modesty. He surpassed everyone in salah. He surpassed everyone in qiraat al-Qur'an. He surpassed everyone in everything. And that's why Ali radiallahu anhu said about Abu Bakr, kana sabaqan li kulli khair. If you think about something good, then Abu Bakr would have already done it. But what makes him amazing radiallahu ta'ala anhu is that this, you know, he was a siddiq. He was the person who was who was whose truthfulness was testified to by the or was testified by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. By the testimony of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this was the greatest man. Why? Because whenever he said that he believed something, whenever he said he believed in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he meant it. There was consistency not only between his words and reality, but between his actions and his words whenever he says that he loves Allah and the Messenger So we can see when his friend, the Prophet comes to him and tells him, by the way, I am a Messenger of Allah. Abu Bakr anhu that same day goes and brings some of the giants to Islam. Talha and Zubair, Uthman anhu, Abdurrahman ibn Auf, all of these great companions, he accounts for more than half of Al-Ashr al-Mubashri, the 10 promised paradise that we're covering in this series. But truly what I want to focus on today is his sidq, his truthfulness and his love for the Prophet ﷺ. This was the man who whenever the Prophet ﷺ was being beaten publicly, went and defended the Prophet ﷺ, although he was physically not that strong, and was beaten to a point that he became unconscious. And Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu was, so, was beaten so badly that whenever his own mother saw him, she could not recognize his face because of how swollen it was. But as soon as he wakes up, he doesn't care about his own health. He's not dazed. He knows exactly what he's doing and he knows exactly what his purpose in life is. He says, where is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? I want to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And his mother wants to give him food, his mother wants to give him drink, his mother wants to at least help him up where he can start walking on his own. And he says, I want to go to Dar al-Arqam, I want to see the Prophet ﷺ to know that he's okay. SubhanAllah, look at that deep love that he had for him. Abu Bakr anhu was the one who went with the Prophet ﷺ on Hijrah, on the migration. And I want you to think about this. Rasulullah ﷺ comes to the house of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq anhu and decides that he wants Abu Bakr to accompany him on the Hijrah. Rasulullah is not just America's most wanted or Mecca's most wanted those days. Rasulullah is the world's most wanted. He has a target on top of his head. And the Prophet comes to the house of Abu Bakr and he says, I want you to accompany me on this journey. This was not a journey where we're going to ride in the limousine because I'm the Prophet of Allah or we're going to have bodyguards. This is a journey in which we are going to be marked for death. And Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu cries out of happiness. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, you know, I knew that some people could cry out of happiness, but I never really understood it until I saw my father on that day when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu started to cry and he grabbed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, As-suhba ya Rasulullah, I get to be your companion ya Rasulullah. As-suhba ya Rasulullah. He was so happy that he got to be with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even in the hijrah, when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu is with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, imagine those moments in the cave together. Imagine when they were all alone and they shared, subhanallah, the most, you know, what were supposed to be the most horrifying moments. But at the same time, those were the best moments of Abu Bakr's life. When Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sleeping and Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu sees a scorpion coming into the cave. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu puts his foot on the hole of that cave and allows the scorpion to drive deeply into to drive deeply into his foot to bite into his foot and he did not want to wake up the prophet sallallahu so even with a scorpion biting into his foot abu bakr radiallahu anhu does not even shriek but rather the tears coming down from his eyes fall on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet sallallahu would only be awoken by by the tears of abu bakr as-siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and even in the journey of Hijrah, when they came to the house of Umm Ma'bad radiallahu ta'ala anha, and they had had nothing to drink for days. And finally, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu are going to get a, trans, a chance to drink some milk, to, to satisfy their thirst, to satisfy their hunger. 
And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu says, فَشَرِبَ الْحَبِيبِ And so my beloved one drank حَتَّى ارْتَوَيْتْ Until I became full. Until my thirst was quenched. Just by looking at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drinking. Yes, Abu Bakr loved the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so much that it transcended human norms. SubhanAllah. And we even see an incident that took place. It's a poem, a qasida from Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. In which he says about the Prophet Marid al Habib Fa'utuhu that my beloved one became sick, so I visited him. So I visited him. min walahi alayhi. So I became sick because I saw him sick. It caused me to become ill. Fa'adani al Habibu fi maradi. So whenever I whenever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam got better, he said, My beloved one visited me because now I was sick. So I looked at the Prophet ﷺ healthy, so I too became healthy. SubhanAllah, that's how much he loved the Prophet ﷺ. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ always praised Abu Bakr as-Siddiq anhu. And even at the end of his life ﷺ, when he stood in the masjid to give one of his final speeches, and Abu Bakr anhu understood that one of the implications of that speech was that the Prophet ﷺ was going to die, Abu Bakr anhu burst into tears. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Suddu anni hadihi al-abwaab. He said, close all the gates of all the other sahaba to the masjid, except for the gate of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. We have been able to repay everyone who has done something for us, but I've never been able to repay Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. I could never pay him back. SubhanAllah, imagine the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa is saying to him, I could never pay him back because Abu Bakr truly loved the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than he loved his own self. So much so that when Abu Bakr anhu worked for so long to try to convert his father to Islam, Abu Quhafa, Abu Quhafa finally accepted Islam. And Abu Bakr and what was supposed to be one of the most joyous days of his life, he started to cry. And they said, why are you crying? And he said, because I remembered my beloved one Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Abu Talib, his uncle was passing away and how much the Prophet Sallallahu wanted Abu Talib to be Muslim. But Abu Talib, did not accept Islam and Rasulullah was so hurt because of that. So he said, I wish that the Prophet could live these moments instead of me. So subhanAllah, we see that that love that Abu Bakr had for the Prophet was the true love we should have. So I ask you with that, how much do you love Muhammad Because that's what's going to get you his companionship on the Day of Judgment, loving him and following him. And subhanAllah, how much do you want to live like him? How much do you want to die like him? Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu wakes up at the age of 63 years old on a Monday and he realizes that he has a fever and he realizes that he's about to die on the same day that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away at the same age that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away and he asked for his he asked for his family to shroud him in the same cloth clothes that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was shrouded in and so it was destined that for the rest of this, this, the rest of the existence of this world, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu would be buried right next to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his head right next to the shoulder of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam as if he's still leaning his head on the shoulder of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam as was always done in dunya. And it, it brings us to this beautiful hadith where there is a person that wanted the companionship of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in Jannah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, what have you prepared? He said, I haven't prepared much salah and much siyam. He said, the only thing that I know I've prepared is that I love you, that I love you, Ya Rasulullah. And the Prophet said, Satakuna ma'man ahbabt. You will be with the one who you love. How much do you love the Messenger How much do you love Allah? Without that love, we will not be able to attain that lofty position in Jannah al firdaus the highest level of paradise. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us that quality of truthfulness when we say, I love Allah and I love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and to gather us with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and his companions in the highest level of Jannah al firdaus Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullahu khayran. I'll see you next week inshallah for the Superstar series. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Quran Weekly. So do yourself a favor, if you benefited from this video, 
go ahead and like it and share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, as is narrated in Sahih Muslim, مَنْ سَنَّ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ سُنَّةً حَسَنًا فَلَهُ أَجْرُ وَأَجْرُ مَنْ عَمَلَ بِهَا That whoever does something good, inshaAllah Ta'ala, and starts it or shares it and other people follow, then he will get the reward that he has and of course the reward of anyone who followed him in that, inshaAllah. So if someone else benefits from this, you get the same reward as the presenter, inshaAllah, and the same reward as the producer. So go ahead and like it, love it, share it. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.